Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Talk Junkies, where tonight's going to be the most interesting night of all time in the history of mankind. If you listen to the podcast, you'll understand exactly why, what I mean, what I mean when I say it's so interesting. But anywho, we're taking a couple weeks off due to the Chiefs being in the playoffs. They are no longer in the playoffs. It's all good, man. It's part of life. You can win some, you lose some. But here we are. You know, we're back at it. We got Blake, Carl, Johnny in the house. Gentlemen, what's going on? What's up? Hola. Como estas? <laughs> No, nothing, nothing new. <clears throat> Definitely nothing new, man. Um, I feel like we're in a in a revolving circle ever since COVID started, man. And even then, I don't really know how to explain it. I was always waiting for something to happen, not thinking that something crazy would happen, and then that craziness happened. And then in just this craziness that's taken over, it's just like it seems like it's the only thing that people talk about is just COVID. Like What's weird to me is I remember back in March of 2020 when this all started, and I was like, I give it six weeks. I was like... The media is trying to hide World War Three or some nonsense. Like, I give it six weeks and we'll be over this. And then here we are fucking two years later. I know. Isn't it wild? But, like, when you guys are at work, isn't that whenever you just listen to people talk, isn't or the, just the talking points at just right. with every, normal people, every, it's it. Everything's it's, COVID now. Oh, everything. Yeah. Or still, I should say, not now. It has been for the last two years. Yeah. Well, yeah, what strain do you get? Do you got the flu rona, the delta? The Well, you don't even hear about delta anymore. Yeah. Omicron, fucking transformer. Yeah, so I, just, I don't. I don't. Or the new one that sounds like a fucking vitamin. What's the new one? I forget what it's called. It's like BM four or five. I don't or see, I haven't even heard something. of that one. There's a new. Yeah, it's like B something. I'm behind. I so don't have the new EP. It's just letters and it's letters and a number. It sounds like a fucking vitamin. I'm kind of curious though because, um, I, granted, I know it's completely different, but the Spanish flu in 1918 is something. Um, it's probably the closest thing to COVID, I guess you could consider. Uh, happening to a large population like it has. And I know the Spanish flu was probably a little more... I can't remember how many people it killed. I know it was quite a bit. Man, I love having Blake here as the little, like... (laughs) I know. Why don't we normally have that? Right. I was going to say, I thought it killed, like, a third of Europe, unless I'm thinking of the Black Plague. I think that's the Black Plague. That's the Black Plague. plague. I think it was over 100 million people, if if I'm not mistaken. No, it killed a lot. of the world's population became infected with this virus. Infected. But how many people died? The number died? of deaths was estimated to be at least 50 million worldwide. Okay. So it's half off. Um, What's COVID stand at? COVID's, I think, probably around like 10 million worldwide would be my guess. Uh, that's a good question, bro. Worldwide, I don't know. It's tough to know. find, man, oh, when wait, you look up stuff on COVID. 17, or is that just the US? I think that's just Missouri. The United States, I believe, is uh, yeah, no, should be worldwide. should be around 5. like six two, million worldwide. Okay, five point six million. Um, so same time frame, right? Because the Spanish flu allegedly was from nineteen eighteen to nineteen twenty. Um, so I'm curious, back in that time, how they eradicated the Spanish flu when it was way more deadlier? Because they say, yeah, back in nineteen eighteen to nineteen twenty, we you know it just disappeared. How did it just disappear? Did they come out with a vaccine for the Spanish flu? I can't really recall. That's something that. You know what I'm saying? Does does that make sense? Because with today's technology, and I know the the population's bigger, and there's more people that live on the earth and shit like that, but with the technology that we have, how are they able to eradicate the Spanish flu and get it under wraps, and we're not able to do that with the coronavirus? Just to play devil's advocate real quick, in all fairness, we don't know that, like, none of us are virologists or whatever that know the difference. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, maybe the Spanish flu just died off on its own just naturally because of whatever right. kind of thing it was, you know? Yeah. For sure. No, that, that's a great point. But still, it was, like I said, it was something more deadlier. And, and I guess my, my next question would be, do you think that that's something that could happen with COVID, that it just might just stop and just not exist anymore? It just doesn't seem like that's the case because we're in different times to where things are publicized so much more to where, I, you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Um, I don't think that certain people want it to go away type of thing. I also feel like society now, though, compared to then, was a lot more where you probably... It's a lot bigger. There's more social interaction than there would have been back then, hundred years ago. No, now. Oh, now. That's what I'm saying now. So with that yeah, logic, a lot though, more like so cross Atlantic travel and stuff too. Yeah, like, like exactly. A lot more yeah. travel. People are moving farther distances. But what, true. so wouldn't that make the deaths more then? Because if you're you're you able to travel, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's medical true. Medical advancement, though, like they didn't have any sort of true. antibiotics or any they like it, ventilators. It, it says oh, they were like suck on a frog; <laughs> it'll yeah, help. On pharmaceutical interventions, so they just like literally take this cough syrup with cocaine in quarantined, it. Quarantined, good personal hygiene. 
That's what it says. That's true. That's true. That's all they could do. Well, and there's videos out there on YouTube whenever, and you could find actual people, what they would say whenever, like, um, and I don't think that, I mean, there were some videos when the Spanish flu came out and what they were asking, like, well, what are you going to do? You know, how do you combat if you get the flu and shit like that back in like their 20s, 30s, 40s? And people are just, their remedies were very interesting back in those times. A lot of people are just like warm whiskey. Oh, if you, yeah, old medicine, man, you look that shit up. It's fucking, that guy's a weird shit. Oh, well, uh, I, I was joking with saying cough syrup used to have cocaine in it or other drugs. That, yeah, I know robot testing was some, some heavy shit, man. Like, you can't. Or I, I don't know. There's, I mean, honestly, the, the farther back you go, the more and more, like, pharmaceuticals really were just, like, drugs. And oh, so, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I guess that's the name for it anyways is drugs. But you know what I mean? Like like you're saying with cocaine or whatever. Ketamine or whatever. But back then, the pharmaceutical companies weren't as big as they are now and, and have a very large, overwhelming reach over society. It, we also could have just advanced past those remedies as well. Not so much the natural stuff, but, like, whatever they used to use cocaine for, we've probably found a better medicine that works better than cocaine or yeah, whatever the for thing. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I guess what my biggest question throughout all of this would be is, um, and it's kind of a side note of what we've been talking about, but definitely involves exactly what we're talking about is just the biggest thing, what you would call misinformation, right? And everyone, I, I, I believe in everyone's hearts, they want COVID to go away. None of us want it to be here. We all want to move on with our lives. I'm all about it. Let's keep it going. <laughs> yeah. Just the amount that it's affecting just the whole population as a whole. What about the fight on it? misinformation? Whether you're left, whether you're right, whether you're, you know what I'm saying? It's just so polarizing whenever you, both sides are saying it's misinformation. How will we ever to be able to tell what is truth anymore or what is knowledge? Because both sides don't agree on shit. I think that's been a problem for a while, even before COVID. But, I mean, it's it's even bigger and more now than ever. It's glaring. It's just the biggest sore on your body that you've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I don't have an answer for that. The the American media and worldwide media and everything is a big problem because it's just entertainment. It's not news anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's there to bring in views and add revenue and all that. It's all about money. Right. But I don't have, like, a solution. Like, I don't have an answer. You don't, you don't or even no, I don't even have an idea of an answer because no matter what, it's all going to stem back to money. You could say, "Oh, well, let's put laws in place to blah 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 blah," but, but then the government's corrupt, so that go. There's always. But what happens if the government's right and the news media is right and we're wrong? Type of thing. How do you combat that? What do you mean? Uh, I mean, just from the flip side, from what we believe and all these podcasts that we have. Let's say that we're wrong and the government is out for our best interest and the media like CNN and Fox and MSNBC. Like let's, they're, they're all telling, telling they're yeah. all telling just a hundred percent the truth. Yeah. Then what actually changes though? You still have the people on the other side that are going to always go against them. So, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 misinformation is the biggest thing, I guess, is what I'm saying. And how do we combat that? And how do we all come together somewhat in the middle to actually move forward? I guess is what I'm saying, because I play a video game called Rust, and you have these people who can just door camp you, right, from your base with a double barrel or whatever it is, and they can just sit there forever, and each time you open that door, they can kill you each each and every single time unless you're you know good at PvP and you stop it, but they can keep coming back over and over and over again, and they're not progressing. They're not progressing, and I feel like that that's where we're at is we're not progressing as a society. We're kind of in that stalemate where people are door camping each other, and we're not moving forward, I guess, is what I'm saying. Or we're all just being left behind and other people are moving forward. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get into it too much because then it gets way into, not not even conspiracy, but just gets into a totally different topic. But the short version for my answer is that I think that they want it this way with the all-powerful day because of so many other reasons, putting COVID, COVID aside and thinking about like the class war, not like race war and stuff like that, but like class, like wage wages and all some stuff that I was talking about outside before yeah. the podcast, just the general, like more and more of the 1% getting super, super, super wealthy, incredibly wealthy and keeping everybody in poverty and keeping everybody working so and as you, a workhorse. And like, Hey, like we're like, it's the matrix. We're human batteries. Like you're going to go to work tomorrow. You don't want to No. like you don't. want to support your family. You <laughs> yeah, want to make yeah, money. Do. Yeah but really not for the amount that you're getting paid for whatever. Like, right. Nobody wants, like, that's the dumbest, like, oh, yeah, just spend 60 years of your life working or 40 years of your life working and then retire and everything. Like, nobody actually wants to do that. People want to, man, Cortland, our friend Cortland, probably wants to 
He doesn't just want to work on cars. Yeah, he likes working on cars, but he probably wants to draw. He's a great artist. You know what I mean? Like, or photography we've or all anything got, else. Yeah, yeah, we've all got our own things. I'd like to dabble in photography or whatever. Like, I'd like to... It, it doesn't matter. Everybody's got their own talents or skills or stuff that they want to do yeah. that they literally can't do because, not because of money, <clears throat> but because th- they're forced to work. But no, so, and, and to be devil's advocate, and I don't know if you guys have anything to say to that, but um, I would say that the American dream still is alive and well, because if you want to do something that you love, Johnny, and we've talked about it many times, is if you would be really good at gaming or being a streamer and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And I know you say you would eventually get bored of it or whatever, but for me, like if I could, if I dedicated all my time to this podcast, I guarantee you I could make something of it. And it would, you know, that would fulfill my uh, dream. Like I, no matter I, how, whatever you want to do, you can still do that in America and still I, be living lavishly or not have to go to work and do that nine to five. But I think to Johnny's point though, if you did do that, you would take a dip where you can't support your family then currently until it did take off. I mean, so risk it for the biscuit type of thing, man. I mean, that's how long what, can you risk it till you don't have a biscuit? I mean, you live one life. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. Mean, I, I grew up. I mean, I grew up poor. I've said it on the podcast before, and it wasn't the worst thing ever as a kid being that way. I'm sure it was really stressful on my parents, but you have to take risk in life. I don't know, man. I I see people working sixty hours a week, and, and you know they choose to do that though. They choose to do that. Man, you and, and you s- don't no, even you, you say that you're taking like, a lot of variables into account. Do they know? Are they immersing themselves in the stock market? Stock market, which is valuable. dude. How do they have money to put into the stock market when they don't have money to feed their kids and pay for rent? Like working said, two jobs and working sixty hours a week, and they still can't do it. Find a different job, man. I have two kids, and I'm making pretty good money, and my that's, wife is that's working you, as well. That's you, though. That's you. There's yeah. not. But if you put everybody to that, man. Okay, I'm not saying that people can't. I, I just hate that pull yourself up by your bootstraps mentality. I'm all for. I'm all for working hard, but not working hard to make giant corporations money, working hard for yourself, but able to do that. You have to, in the society we live in, you have to have money in the first place, which most people get by working and literally selling their body for profit. Like, I mean, whatever, if, especially if you're in like, you know, really physical work, you're actually breaking down your body and hurting your body. So that when you're older, you're going to have arthritis and osteoporosis and all these other things. When like, I don't know. We have this weird view of like, oh, you have to work because that's how that's that's what a man is. You know, you're like you're a working man for your family. You got to support your family and all this stuff. And I'm like, man, in today's day and age, with the amount of money that exists, all these billionaires and everything and the amount of like automation and stuff, technically, if McDonald's were to make a fully automated store, which they have, okay, and they make an automated store. Yes. So then those people, those employees lose out on their jobs. Right. And now McDonald's makes more money. Yes, McDonald's should make more money because they're the ones investing in the first place. But also, greed is not that good of a thing where McDonald's just has has to have all the money in the world. Or if Amazon were to automate everything, like, why can't we? Automation should help everybody. Like, if we automate a job, guess what? That means that that person no longer has to go to work. They should still have money and be able to live their life and do what they want. So you're saying universal basic income? Yeah, honestly, yes. But I've always had more socialist views than probably anybody yeah, else. Right. Had. I mean, I... I can somewhat agree with universal basic income. Um, but then again, whose hands are you putting that into and how's it going to be distributed and how much? And it's not going to be, no, there's obviously a lot of math there. There's a lot to work into it, but we're not even really moving in that, in that direction. Like there's this list and I've brought this up before, but all this stuff about the, these massive companies that the one I've used before as an example was like Apple that made $90 billion a year profit. That's profit. That's after returns on like marketing and that's everything. That's just pure profit, like for the board or whatever that they use for like stock buybacks and stuff, which is just artificial stock inflation bullshit. But you take that 90 billion and just cut their revenue by a third, cut the revenue by a third. So now they're making 60 billion, still plenty of money, right? Yeah. They could pay all 1400 of their employees a $100 an hour raise. $100 $100 an hour so that every one of their employees right now that's getting paid $16 an hour or $25 an hour or higher so, up in the company is making $30 so, an hour could be making 115 a, or 100 and whatever. Yeah. And they would still be 
a highly profitable company. Yeah. So there's so many of those where I'm like, and that's the argument for people against that. They would sit there and say like, well, what's the incentive for someone who's starting a company? The incentive is that why can't everybody like, well, that that can't we all enjoy life? Well, that makes a more productive workforce too. There's one. Exactly. Yeah. You get more, you you could honestly almost, I mean, obviously without having numbers, you would almost expect to see a return on that investment where you, you get rid of what? $30 billion to pay your people a shitload of money to yeah. make their quality of life better. Instead yeah. of 90 you know, million, they're, they're going to work harder. 120 yeah. billion. That's yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. I mean, well, and then there's, so well, what we're talking about outside two, well, two parts. One is you, we're talking about outside, uh, employer retention. Nobody has employees right now. They're all quitting. They're all going to other jobs. So one that too, when COVID hit, there's, I can't remember what company it was. This one owner took his pay cut. He, he took himself down. He still makes money. Don't get me wrong. But he paid everybody like seventy, seventy five thousand dollars a year or eighty. Heard about it, yeah. And he has not had one person quit. That's I, I've always said, and man, they, if they you love pay, coming to if work. If you pay your employees more, your business will also like what you said, yep. your business will do better because think about Comes it. Back around, if yeah. I own a gas station, I own Quick Trip, and then right in across the street is BP or whatever. If I pay my employees really well, I can hire the best employees because the people who want to work there are going to work. You know what I mean? Like they're going to work harder. If they're not hard job. workers, I can get rid of them and the harder workers will come. You know what I mean? Like by increasing the amount that you pay, you're getting a better quality. Think of labor. Think of us, the people, the workforce, you get what you pay for. Oh yeah. Like when you buy a table, do you want a $20 table? Like, do you want a $20 table or do you want like a $200 table? The $200 one's probably better. Same thing. Your workforce. If you're paying kids fifteen dollars an hour, they don't give a shit. No. <clears throat> so l- let's try and find the root of the, all all of these problems. I mean, I feel like America's always been this way. Um, we talk about the golden the golden age or whatever. You know, back in the day when things were more simple, the guy could, the, and we've had many podcasts about it where the guy could go to work and take care of his family, pay for college, pay for the house, pay for the mortgage, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's gone to the wayside. It's completely gone. Um, and I think like. Basically, what we're what you're saying is, as opposed to misinformation, maybe that's just a slight cover up for the greatest transfer of wealth in human history. Um, you look at Elon Musk and how much how his portfolio increased like over a hundred percent before COVID. I think he was somewhere around twenty or forty billion dollars, and now he's worth like a hundred and twenty billion dollars from the start yeah, he, of COVID. No, he to went now. up massively. I think he's the the biggest, and and that's the trend for all of these billionaires. It's the greatest transfer of wealth, and it, it has to be the cover-up for misinformation. Like like you said, it's just all these people who are rich just want more and more and more, and they're just literally That's what I'm saying. It's, like a, it's like a disease is the way I see it because I'm like, why would you let other people suffer and die but around Johnny, you? Johnny, how do you sell it to people? How do you sell this to someone where you say like, hey, Apple, take a 30, per, or take 30, $30 billion less and make a more productive work environment. How do you sell that to these you, cyclical psychopaths? You, you can't. You can't sell that. All you can do is do, like I said, there's no answer other than people being polite to other people. And I'll use polite in like the general term of like right. giving a shit about other people. So, and it, dude, this is all starting to make sense to me because you see a lot of these protests happening and it's none of this is about wages, at least from what the, the corporate media sh- shows you and all that shit, like this convoy that's going on in Canada. And now that's spreading down to Australia, I believe, and some other countries where they're going to start doing convoys because, you know, people who drive trucks, they're the ones who put food on your table. Did you say none of it was about wages? Huh? Did you say none of it was about wages? No, 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 I'm saying all of these things oh, that were oh, okay. being shown to us on TV. None of it's really about wages. I think there have probably been some articles where like, well, we can't find people because we're not paying them enough, all this other stuff. But what I'm saying is it's all a distraction from people. And so what I'm saying is people are they're protesting against the wrong thing. They're protesting, hey, we don't want to be forced vaccination, which I get that that's important. People should have their, their choice. But the real root of the issue and the real problem is people need to be doing these types of protests over wages. Yeah. I'm saying tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people marching saying, hey, $90 billion profit, Apple, that's too much. Like, we need to figure something out to where we do exactly what you just described. What I'm saying is we're fighting for the wrong things. You just put a cap on what companies can make? And we've talked about this. I don't know what the answer is. Yeah, I've talked about having, which this is just throwing out random numbers. I don't have the actual math, but making a cap where it's like, because people have talked about doing salary caps before where like any CEO can't make more than 800,000. Well, then you run into the problem of 
there's no there's what, yeah there's no competition there because if I can make eight hundred thousand for this company or my max is eight hundred thousand here, why does it right. matter kind of thing? But what you can do is have there be a minimum between the lowest paid and the highest paid employee, so that if the highest paid employee wants a raise and wants to make more money, which they probably do because they're in a position of usually greed driven kind of stuff, you know, they're getting their forty three million dollar bonus working at EA or wherever, you know, right. In order to do that and to increase that, you have to increase the bottom end as well. So that, and it's the same thing we talked about earlier with if you pay people more, they're doing more for your company. So like a company that is doing really well, the high end person would be getting a raise and getting paid more. And the bottom end person would be getting a raise and getting paid more, which means that that company is not only more profitable, profitable, but also will hire more like better people like people are going to want to work even, for yeah, that company you wouldn't even have to hire at that point you'd re, you're retaining you're yeah retaining like you people and it would be insane it'd be very uniony over there how is that and that's, that's my, literally how that works yeah. is that everybody gets a raise at the when the biggest boss gets a raise everyone gets a raise in the union well, whenever the whole union whenever we get a raise like i'm gonna get a raise here in september i'll get a raise but i get only a certain percentage of i get 80 percent of our raise because that's where my pay rate is right now it's 80 percent of a journeyman and but like a first year is like 40, 40% of a journeyman, so they'll get 40% of that raise. So it's not the full raise. Say it's like $2. They don't get they only get 40% of it. But that's kind of standard though, right? No matter... But to Johnny's point, it's like everybody, the highest... So like a journeyman, they're the, they're the high man. They get the full raise, but even the low guy still gets a little bit of it. And I get that, and that makes sense for like an electrical union. It's like, hey, like we're not going to give you that full until, you're, until you prove to us that you can do what it is we want. Right, but to his point... It, like Johnny said, that it's like a tiered system that you everybody gets the raise. So yeah, like, no matter what, right? Yeah. Even the high guy still gets he gets the full raise, but even everybody gets a raise. I feel like I wish I was born in to, into that type of work environment. Right when I was sixteen, like I was a hard worker. I'm just saying I would have been in, incentivized to probably find a better career if I had that type of opportunity, as opposed to oh, yeah. six dollars an hour at McDonald's. And who knows what McDonald's profits are, but their profits would be a lot higher if they're doing what we're describing right now. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I th- I'll read a couple of things that I've saved on here before. Um, and I can't find the one that I'm really looking for. But just, I think the big thing, you talked about distraction earlier, but it's distraction on a massive level. It's not just distracting us from like, Oh man, COVID's distracting us from wages and all this. It's them also playing us against each other. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, the country divided. The talking about how like, but it's EMT drivers would get mad because they're like, "What? Why should burger flippers make more when I only make this amount?" No, dude. Like, stop fighting against them and fight against the people above you. You should also be making way more. Yeah. And there's like the people. That, this is just a random like. So you you say you hate socialism? If you make fifty thousand a year. $36 of your taxes goes to socialist things like food stamps. 4000 goes to corporate subsidies. So $36 of your taxes goes to, you know, socialist stuff, Something food stamps and whatnot like that, that you hate because yeah. you hate socialism. 4000 goes to just corporate subsidies, which is a worse kind of socialism. Like that's socialism just for hold just on. for the big corporations, just, not, on, not down, for the people down. you actually give so a you're shit saying about. If you make fifty thousand dollars a year, you're breaking down what where that money goes to for your taxes. Just for the socialist part of it, the thir- thirty six dollars. Goes to taxes for food stamps. Are you saying money that's deducted from your checks? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. $36 goes to food stamps. Okay. 4000 goes to corporate subsidies, which is socialism for... It's like food stamps for corporations. For rich people. So question though, because you, you got to put in social security. and that, You're not even bringing up social security at this point. Not, right? in, not in this. I'd have that's to do not, more. This that's is just not a included. small... Because I mean, you got You do have to realize, and I agree with Social Security. Because when you do hit a certain age and you can retire, and let's say you live to be ninety-five, like you're collecting a check, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. But they keep moving that goal line too. No, I, and you're completely right. But it, and you're getting Medicaid. You're getting those two things for twenty plus years, and that's all money that you've worked for. So you're getting some of that back, which were the taxes. You know what I'm saying? So, but our Social Security is draining year after year, anyways. We always talk about like it drains, and like will, said, they will moved Social the, Security they moved be there? Yeah, they keep moving. They keep bumping back the year that you get it, I think, and the amount you get less and less every year. Yeah. And that's without inflation. With inflation, it's still it's even greater deficit. Like very true. And I and, and I hope and pray as opposed to them worrying about raises, they'll actually raise Social Security, which I think they have before, but it's like one percent or something yeah. very small and minute. Um, Man, you wouldn't even need Social Security though if you had like I don't know what Johnny's talking about. I guess yeah, I'm no, just. I agree. Yeah, I, I feel like. There's so much money and everyone and I'm doing has a bad job of describing it, but I feel like everybody, it's like, if you talk about this whole like anti-work movement, this anti-work environment, people think it's because you're lazy 
And I'm just like, no, just let people do what they want to do, though, because there is enough natural resources and money and everything for everybody. There's just this is literally just a meme, but talking about like one day the machines will take all of our jobs. The other guy's like, good, I don't I don't like my job. And then he's <laughs> like, uh, but then you won't have any money. He said, if that happens or yeah, if the machines take all of our jobs, if that happens and we don't change how we distribute money, there's a problem with us, not with machines. Right. Like that's the problem is we're not, we don't look out for anybody else. There's, there's more, we're, I'm sure that at one point we have probably donated, donated whatever, given money to a homeless person or whatever. Oh yeah. Like we're more likely to do that than the corporations and people will be like, oh, corporations donate millions of dollars a year or whatever. Yeah. To their own, to their own like charities that they get tax breaks from. Most percentage. Yeah. I would say like 99%. I'm sure there are some good ones out there. There are good charities. Oh but yeah. It's just, it's all like. I don't know. It's everybody's all for themselves instead of helping other people. And then when we do decide that like we should help other people and whatnot, we're fighting against each other instead of fighting against like, they're like the puppet masters that are just playing all of us. Like I've used the comparison before where I'm like, you talk about people who make $500,000 a year and they, they get mad at the poor people for whatever, like oh, yeah. for whatever rules they're voting on and stuff and blah, blah. And I'm like, yo, the people above you have you tricked. Because you at five hundred thousand a year are way closer to the people making thirty thousand a year, yeah, than, than they are to the, than the you are top. to the people above you that you think that you're like or that you're you know trying to be like or whatever. Like you're also in the shit category and you don't even realize it. So with this automation, I I, would, it, I always bring up this question: if paying somebody more makes the co- that cost of that good, if, so pay, paying McDonald's employee more makes that burger go up in price for me to go pay for. How come when you automate it, the price doesn't go down? Yeah, no, they just pocket more that's, money. And yeah. that's honestly one of the things I was looking for on here that I can't find now. You know, it, no self checkouts too at all these grocery stores or anywhere you go. Self checkouts. Yeah, it's more profit for the it's corporation. Pro- they're not paying. You know, there's what eight self checkouts at Hy-Vee right now. Those eight employees that, and who knows if they didn't fire anybody probably. But I'm just saying, instead of paying eight people to do that, now you got some computer doing it. Why? I Why think, do I still pay the same prices? Which that's a grocery store, so I understand that. But like the burgers and shit. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense. But I, I feel like with everything that's happening right now, it's, there are in like so Kansas, for example, they haven't raised their minimum wage at all. It's been a long time for Kansas. Yeah, yet. I mean, I mean, for Missouri's service, raised it how many times? I mean, Missouri's minimum wage is twelve dollars an hour. Yeah, now. but I mean, and it's supposed to be fifteen is still two dollars. Huh? And it, it, I thought Missouri like was seven, going seven and a quarter. In uh, Missouri's cap was twelve, and that hit this year. So I thought it was going to fifteen by no. some year soon. No. It's twelve bucks an hour. Oh, maybe it's, maybe I'm thinking twelve. Yeah, but yeah. even that, I don't know. Where are you going to find somebody to go work for that though? Like, when oh, everybody, twelve ain't I mean, shit still. Everybody, but, I mean, I see people offer it though, but it's like, why would you even offer it? Like, you can go to like Quick Trips paying people like almost twenty bucks an hour. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's the like, thing. That's you like have, forty thousand dollars a you, year. To you just, Check people out. You have corporations yeah, yes, like Quick Trip and like um, what's the the chicken place? Chick Fil A. No, not Chick Fil A. The other one. Popeyes. No, no. The go other Chicken Go or something. Go Chicken Go. Another one in Belton. Canes. Canes. Yeah, Canes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're starting wages. Just naming all these chicken <laughs> places. <laughs> yeah. I'm only so fat, Paul. Come on. <laughs> they're starting wages fifteen dollars an hour. So you have all these sixteen year olds, and they say they hear fifteen dollars an hour. It's now forcing other companies to start paying kids that type of money. That type of money. So you do have good corporations that are doing those types of things. I don't know whether it's good or not, but man, that that whole thing, there's so much to like that whole thing's a scam too because we've just recently changed the laws to where kids can work younger now. Like we're literally really? they're like, "Well, we can't hire adults, so we'll go back to child labor." Like we're changing there's schools now that have like you remember how so when I was in school, I had like my senior year, I had like a work whatever thing where I work went to release. for some for uh what do you call that? Not semesters, for blocks whatever yeah you know like we had seven blocks in a day quarters no we had seven blocks in a day you'd have like a half day at school and you go to work yeah i'd have that's the best way to put it i would have like a half day at school and then i would go to work for the other half oh votech now they're yeah it wasn't votech i mean it's a work release program exactly that's okay they're pushing that back now though to like now sophomore year and stuff like that damn like they're trying like they're doing everything they can to hire younger because younger people will take less money because they don't know well, I feel like I wasted a lot of time in high school. I well, that's the thing. High school more productive. I'm not saying the school was yeah. the. I'm not I mean, saying yeah. school, but just the 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 constant mm. like the law. And may, maybe it's because I've been reading way too much about it, so it's just been in my mind for the last two weeks, and I can't like 
coercively like put all my thoughts together because it's so much jumbled up stuff. But it's everything that they've been doing is moving in the direction of like, let's go back to, you know, more child labor and stuff like this. Like, let's take away working from home because um, even though working from home works perfectly well and everything, we need to have a reason for these office buildings to be open so that there can be the the loan front there for the office to even have a reason to be open so that the they can pay the people who own the office. Yeah. Like, it's this whole, like... And I think that's stupid to even have an office. If you can get the productivity out of people working from home and... You would think that's a place to save money. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, I think also, like what you were talking about, if there's getting these kids working earlier, I mean, everything's getting more expensive, man. I mean, if these people, like college, if if I... That wasn't even a thought in my mind when I was in high school. Just, oh, how am I going to pay for college? I mean, just to have money going into that, you know, if, if that's their their thought process is like, man, I need to s- figure out how I'm going to pay $20,000 a year to go to X university. I should probably start working at like 15. That's on the low which, end. Which though. most of them. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Though. I mean, I started working at 14 and 15, but yeah. most of them don't even think about that though because they fucking brainwash us into just take out loans. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, well, it depends what kind of loan. You can't go get a house, but hey, you can go to this. Hey, fucking you can school. go. To, you can go to this school that when you're completely done, you'll have a hundred thousand dollar loan with that, crazy interest rates that'll. Federally backed loans. Yeah. yeah federally yeah. backed loans that just last forever. People literally, <laughs> people will pay more than the minimum payment, and still end up after ten years owing more yeah. than what they initially owed. Well, the cost of it, education too. It just in the last what. Since the eighties, yeah, I mean, yeah, just I don't know if anything else has inflated, skyrocketed as much. since yeah. the eighties. I oh, yeah. honestly don't know if you could tell me one thing that's gotten more expensive. So again, who's pocketing that money? You know, that's Fannie Mae, and that's all these other, yeah. What yeah. I forget all the other loan places that accept these this type of money. All your, all your big, your but JP God Chase, damn, Chase, man, and like, Morgan, the, and all that. What different. the fuck? How do people allow this to happen? I know our generation sucks. Whatever you want to say. <clears throat> Like, but damn it, really? You're going to call us out Generation X or Y or whatever the fuck we're called or Z? I don't know. But the, it was the generation, who's with the baby boomers? Who am I thinking of? Who's the generation before us? You're talking about the Z? The, the, no. no. You're talking about the baby boomers. Yeah, the baby boomers. But see, like, that's oh, a problem too because we shouldn't be fighting against no, them. No, I know that, man. But come on, dude. Like, you guys kind of, uh, you you built, this was building up and you allowed it to happen too type of thing. Oh, well, that's, like, well, I see your point. So they're blaming us for all this shit, but really yeah. they didn't do anything to stop them. They didn't do yeah. damn thing to do over this, though. At, huh? What control would we have had? I mean. No, no I know. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, but th- no, yeah, right. that's what I think Paul's trying it's, to get across. Yeah, yeah, they're blaming us, but really they didn't do shit to stop it. If anything, they made it worse. Yeah. yeah. Not to, to, me, point to me, though, again, to me, though bl- yeah, blaming them is just no, as bad no, no, as no. us blaming each the, like, the corporate. No, it's keeping yeah. us at war instead of focusing on the no, real devil here. I'm, I'm not like going to go out and start a, a fucking riot about the baby, baby boomers not helping us out more. What I'm saying is that, that what is going on right now is requiring action and for people to talk about it and have a conversation like we are now and spreading this type of um, information whether you believe it or not, and a lot of it's kind of just blatantly obvious and common sense in your face, and just making sure people see that. And, I mean, when you get, I don't, I mean, I know people are brainwashed, in, in my opinion, to allow all this to happen. But if you do a mass awakening and people realize this, then at that point, what could you do? If 200 million American adults woke up and said, we're not paying Forty thousand dollars to go to Harvard. I mean, the good news is more and more people are doing it. There's a reason that once again they keep saying there's a oh there's a there's a labor shortage. Like there's a shortage. No, there's a you're not paying people enough. There was people are doing what they want to do more now. They're like you know what f all this. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna go play my guitar on the corner and do what I want to do. Because the money's the same though. That's the big part of it. Is the money is like there was something once again going through all the and I have a bunch of it saved. Like I literally. This is starting from two or three weeks ago that I started saving stuff, and I've lost some of it for whatever reason because I knew eventually we'd have a podcast where I'd talk about it. But there's like, there were uh, not studies, that's the wrong thing, but there were charts that came out that showed like the new average uh, cost for like daycare and stuff like this. And it was Stupid literally, <laughs> if, you were a, if you were a single mom, and this may have been in a state that's more expensive, I don't remember where it was. Could have been New York, could have been California. Yeah, because we live. Whatever. But wherever this was taken, it literally, um, it was cheaper for this single mom to live with her mom and not have a job because if she would have lived by herself, even in a shitty cheap apartment and had a job, 
the amount that daycare cost, she would have had a net loss. Jesus. She didn't make enough money at her job to cover daycare. I, so I can you, attest to that. So yeah, you, so, like, on, for anybody. Yeah. so you don't agree with, I, I guess. Another reason that, you know, they're not taking COVID seriously and saying, yeah, let's go back to school. Everybody open up the schools again. Because they literally, schools are a form of fucking daycare that are, like, needed so that people, and people are like, oh, yeah, that's so people can get their lives back. No, they're opening them again and letting students in because it's daycare so you can get people back to work. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, what, what and it, I, this is where I guess I disagree with you when I said it earlier. Like, to that mom, I would say, like, hey, you probably should just find a job that pays more. Man, you say daycare that. Daycare is but that expensive, though, man. No, I completely agree. Daycare and it's not is just like easy to thing. find a job a that kid, pays more. Even when I was a kid, there was a point where my, my mom and my stepdad made the decision for uh, one of them to not work because it would have cost them more money to put us in daycare. Yeah. I feel and like, it, yeah, it's an overall problem as opposed to... The, the single issue of, hey, finding a better job. Like, that's... I mean, but at the same time, like, someone babysitting your kids, that's a huge responsibility. In the, no, the, it is. And the no, socialization and babysitters, skills, babysitters is, like, should be paid more. Yeah. Like, the, I'm not I'm not arguing with the cost of daycare. I'm arguing with, you don't get paid enough yeah, yeah. in your job to be able to do the daycare. Like, the daycare is that... It should, it should maybe even cost more. You know what I'm saying? Because that's hard work. And that's a needed, like, it's a necessity. Daycare is a needed thing. Yeah. But then you, as working at your other job, should also, man, people should just be paid more, and there should be more shaved off the top end. That's it. That's There's no it. reason there needs to be, a, there doesn't need to be a single billionaire, Who do we let alone 160 happen? billion. Do what? Who do we call to make that happen? Yeah, good luck. That's the problem. So I, don't, <laughs> I don't know an answer. We got to get people to wake up and see this, and then instead of, like I said, people rioting and having a trucker convoy because of vaccine mandates, well, they need to be talking about wages. And well, to John's point, though, so should more places unionize? Yeah. Not today. You didn't say it while we're down here, but outside you did. So should is, more is that more what that, places unionize? Is that what that would be called? Is unionizing, or is there just like a federal law that goes into effect that says, "Hey, like." Well, that's, like, the, like that's the government said, telling unions you. Unions are a step in the right direction. The people, they're not like the, the solution. The, the, no, the but people are the government. What I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, the, I'm just saying we're trying to kill two birds with one stone. I'm not saying we're going to fix the government. Right. But if the government were to be competent, this is how we would do it type of thing. Implement, no, be, implementing it through the government, what you were saying is what, and, and that's how it should go. Because the, the corporations pay everybody, uh, pay the lawmakers. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. So that, you're yeah. not going to fix it that way. Yeah, people need to hold politicians accountable. We need to hold our government accountable. And if we were to ever accomplish something like a feat like this, that would that would all be like a, a, a big package type of thing because you wouldn't get this done with a corrupt government. You wouldn't get this done with, you know what I'm saying? It would be an all-in-one deal type of thing. Right, well, unionization, look at John Deere. You know, they went on strike for a few weeks, I think it was, and fuck, look how that turned out for them. They got more money out of the deal, fucking big-ass bonus. But how much more? That's fucking more than they no more unions than what are, they were un, offering. Like I said, unions are a step in the right direction, but and they, more places should unionize. But for John, but Deere, it's still a it's it's not a in all because in, in all honesty, a union is a business in and of itself. Yeah, it's a small how much business. how much did the CEO of John Deere shave oh, off? Fuck, probably oh, drop not, a, a drop in the bucket, a half a percent, one percent. That's still not enough, man. But it's it's a small it's a small it's a step in it's a stepping stone. It's sure. a stepping stone, but it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a look through a peephole of how the CEO operates, though. You're talking about telling Apple to give up the ninety million dollars when the fucking CEO, billion, the billion. yeah, the, thirty the, billion, yeah, yeah, thirty. The CEO at fucking uh, John Deere didn't want to give them these workers fucking not even a fraction of that. Yeah, you know. And what's real bad is so, they're training our kids for it now too. And you might be able to pull this up actually. The one I saw was take it with a grain of salt because it was like a Vice article, and that's the only oh, one yeah. I read. But you could probably find more on it on there. Oh God, is that it right there? No, I just told him to pull it up. Uh, uh, there was, I think Vice is a great source of information, personally. Oh, absolutely not. I love, I love, absolutely their, not. I love their shows, man. <laughs> they about, were good for a while, about, man. They were good for a while. I tried to watch... quality TV right there. Are you being serious? You, you like ever Vice? watch TV shows on Vice? I've watched a few. I mean, they have They're some... pretty cool, yeah. yeah shows I'm just cool, saying when man. it comes to, like, politics and shit, it gets I don't, kinda, I don't have any source of news at all. I yeah. don't pay attention to anything, literally nothing. Brilliant. Except for what I see with my oh two God. eyes. Where's your mouse? You There's just no point. Mouse, you, you just got to click. It's an oh iPad. Yeah. You just it's, it's an iPad. <laughs> so for <laughs> for it, for anyone out there, <laughs> for anyone out there who doesn't agree with this, uh, please one put it in the comment section below on why you don't. But for 
what what I think you're going to say is like, well, that CEO or whoever you know created the company, they created it with their mind. Oh yeah, and this was their idea and all this. But I think to to what Johnny is saying is if you do you know what I'm if you do what he's saying and you know that CEO starts making more money, so everyone in the payroll makes an increase in wage as well. You can't deny the fact that people are going to work harder in that company. You can't deny that. That's the biggest incentive. Oh, but also, yeah. you think that and, if you're talking about that, it's like he uses like they use all these people to make that much money. Yes, so like the, so the people are without the people to the process. Yeah, but it's but it's their process. That's that's been a thing for it's it's for their, years. Is but hold work, on, workers are like the workforce should be paid more than which is why unions started in the first place. Oh yeah, is because the workforce is what makes you the money, and labor has a cost. Like the table argument I made: two hundred dollar table or twenty dollar table. Labor, well, labor is a resource, and you as a company have to pay for that labor. And it's not just and the, the wages. And the more people who just yeah. mass quit their jobs is great because you're forcing them to up the... I love seeing that too, yeah. Oh, yeah. It always excites me online. Well, it's not just the wages. It's safety shit. Too. I mean, there, it, you, I mean yeah, there's, there's a whole there, bunch. There's a whole bunch more than just wages. That's what people think. You talk to anybody that hates unions, it's like, oh, you guys are just money hungry. There's a fucking there's shitload more the, about it. Yeah, there's a ton. That, and that's one of the things that I was trying to pull up earlier that I can't find now, but it was talking about how, and I'm going to get these all wrong because I don't have it pulled up. Are you good? But it was like, oh, 1930s, like, oh, if we introduce like health code stuff and can't store chemicals wherever we want, because they used to store chemicals like in the bunk houses oh, where yeah. people would sleep overnight and stuff and people would get cancer. They're like, if we do this, our costs are going to go up. And then it was like, oh, 20 years later, if we do this thing and what if we can't hire 14 year olds to work, then our, if we can't have child labor, then all of our costs are going to go oh, up. Yeah. And then 20 years later, if we can't do, and now it's this, if we can't pay a livable wage, then our costs are yeah. like, it's, it's constantly a fucking war. And it's, I wish I had the actual thing because when you look at all the past things, they all sound crazy. You're like, man, how was that ever a thing in the first place? Right. But then here we are today and, it's and people just right accept now. what's happening as normal when in the future, hopefully we see what's happening now as fucking insane. Yeah. The, and we will. So this thing, this, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but there's an article here talking about how, and I guess it started in 2019 and they're still doing it, but Amazon uh, started in San Bernito, San Bernardino, whatever, California. Bernardino? Yeah. I can't say that word. I don't know why. Um, Where high schools weren't getting enough money through federal funding. So Amazon stepped in and gave them for this one, $50,000, but then they had to have a class and had to change how the classroom looked. They literally have stuff on the walls that says customer obsession, bias for action, and deliver results. Those are literally written on the walls in the classroom. And these are like Amazon slogans and stuff. And it's teaching them about like anti-union stuff, and it's teaching them about working, eth- and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it's it's basically training your kids. To be a worker. Especially in San Bernardino, where there's, I can't say that word. San Bernardino. Thank you especially there where there are where that's like Amazon's headquarters. This is, You're training them to get out of high school and go directly into Amazon, Amazon shouldn't be able and to, the workforce. They shouldn't be yeah, able exactly. to facilitate money they, into public education. Exactly. That's fucking yeah. ridiculous, man. Uh, curriculum for the course, uh, which includes lessons plans on managing labor unions, making ethical decisions, and motivating employees. We're written by a team of educators, blah, blah, blah. There's just, man, it's it's... I can't remember. It's who, insane. I can't remember who said the quote, but it was something about like school's not there to. It's not teaching you how to be successful. It's teaching you how to be a worker. Yeah, yeah. that's all school's doing for you now. It's a prime example. Work of what release just program. Said. That shit right there. That's a, that's a crazy example of it. What else is it? Should do? You, what else do you need to learn though? I mean, I mean, education. That's a whole other. Well, if you're spo- it's supposed to I mean, like chase your dreams and do what you want to do, they should be. Offering classes and things to do You're talking to, about to South, explore South Harmon Institute of Technology. Yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> South <laughs> Harmon Institute of Technology. Go get a motherfucking whiteboard. Put, go write it. Yeah. Go write it on the board. Yeah, exactly. Well, pineapples. Honestly, though, mind. that's how. That's how. Legitimately, all jokes aside, that's how college at least should be. I agree. I think the classes you have to take in college are some especially of the, you know, Gen Eds. Why do I yeah, need to take Gen Eds? Why the Gen Eds? So relevant. Yes, but no. I, I but think grade school. Yeah, you should learn. Like math should obviously be taught. History right. should be taught. Like, like civics and stuff should be taught. You need to learn about that kind of stuff. Like, you don't want to have quite literally ignorant or dumb individuals out there who right. can't do basic math. No, yeah, like agreed. math is a good thing to fucking learn. Agreed. But you should be able to explore somebody's interest and 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 let it grow. 
You know, you shouldn't just. Just a class called imagination. Right. Just slap an Amazon. When those kids graduate, they don't get a fucking diploma. They get an Amazon safety vest. Like, all right. Yep. There you go. Go to work. Show, show up at work on Monday. Be, be a battery because that's what you are. You're using your body as a fucking yeah. battery for the next 40 years of your life. Cap- exactly. Capitalism is a front for what is now the biggest mafia in the world. You know what I'm saying? And I know whatever true capitalism is or true communism or true fucking socialism, whatever any of that shit means, I don't know which one's the best, but right now, it, I mean, it's a front. What's happening right now is not capitalism. I can tell you that. Um, I don't know. What's happening right now is people are getting extremely rich and living lavishly while 99% of other people suffer for the most part. I think it's either Sweden or Norway or something that does democratic socialism. And that one's working out like really, really well. Like their taxes are only like legit. It's less than 2%. It's like one and a half percent or 1.7% higher than our taxes. And they've all got free healthcare, free, whatever they get like two weeks off a year, like required from all their jobs or whatever you get. uh, The mom and the dad get to go on leave whenever they have a kid. Oh yeah. All, all this stuff. And the only different, like everything's better free education, all this stuff. The only thing that's different, even the happiness is rating. They're rated like the second happiest country in the world or whatever. Damn. And the only difference is the giant corporations make less. Like they make less than we make here. They're still all doing fine though. They're well, still yeah. like like everybody like I think and believe me, I'm all about freedom and that's all I mean that to me be, me being able to do the things that I want to do, that's that's the most important thing to me. But when you live in an environment where there's a lot of money involved and there's 325 330 million people that live in the United States. That's a lot of people. So we all have to take into account that it's going to be extremely hard to make each and every single person happy. But what's the best way to do that? And if you have countries that have a model for that, I see I say why not test it type of thing. And I may not agree with socialism in like free healthcare and a free all this, free all that. But part of the reason you don't but, is probably because you've been brainwashed the whole time you've grown up to avoid it. No, no, and, and that's a possibility, you know, but I'm 32 now and I'm set in my ways type of thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm not necessarily agreeing with that, but if it's better off for 320, 330 million people as opposed to just a small group and everyone's going to be happy type of thing, I think that I might be all right. You know what I'm saying? That's, I mean, this is the world we live in now. But I, I, I would hope within this environment, I think, it, and I know this is a side note, that we would still get freedoms type of thing. You don't get rid of freedom. Yeah, no, there's obviously, yeah. and once again, that's that's corrupted socialism yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that takes away people's freedoms and does like, oh, yeah, every everybody gets a house, but they're all cookie cutter and they all look the same and they're, oh, yeah. you live in a box and you go to work and that's, you know, that's like old school USSR communism kind of stuff. That's not right, or, tell you you know, what to wear, North what Korea to wear. and all yeah. that shit. Life can still go on as normal in in this type of environment is what I'm saying. And we, 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 we kind of need to start looking towards that way, honestly. And we can't continue to do status quo right now because if that's the case, then this is going to end up being fucking, uh, what is that? Uh, the movie, um, Blade Runner. That's what it's going to be. Oh yeah. I mean, hundred percent. Like love it's going to be, yeah, I love it too. And that, that's exactly what it's going to be. And that's, that's literally a picture perfect, um, description of what earth is going to look like in about 100 to 200 years yeah there's no nature left there's no animals all the animals you see are like cloned because the real animals cost so much fucking money in the the blade runner universe right oh no no i'm saying i I was thinking uh ready player one sorry oh so we're talking about completely different things no i know i know i know that's my fault that's completely my fault i think that that's probably got the metaverse we're talking about 30 here i know (laughs) <laughs> but what I'm saying in an advanced metaverse. Were you here for that podcast? Uh-uh. Okay, that must have been the one. metaverse podcast? Yeah. That's too much for me to comprehend. I don't want to think about that, I man. But that's Ready Player One. And what, and what I'm saying is that's where we're heading. And it's going to be that being, if we no, continue I, on this I path. I swear it's exactly. been talked about, hadn't it? Maybe that's where I heard it. I thought they've, they've talked about I hope being having like a, a virtual metaverse where you can link in just, you like, know, just like Ready Player One. But you know, Zuckerberg watched that movie. Now he's probably creating his own Easter eggs and shit, getting people ready for that type of environment. No, he's putting Easter eggs, but he's not going to give the company to some random kid that wins the game. We've no. all That's seen the, difference. the Pixar movie WALL-E, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, We're yeah. probably heading in that fucking direction, oh, yeah. too. That's yeah. exactly, that. that's a better description. <clears throat> that's exactly where humanity is headed. If we continue on this path and we don't do something and change something now... That's exactly what's going to happen. I just need my floating chair. I'm already fat, so. <laughs> like, you are not fat, Just, to be, like, just to be like fucking Wally. No. Wally. Wally. People in Wally are probably like 600 plus pounds. Like <laughs> yeah, four, to, four to 600 plus pounds. Fucking robots control everything. Yeah. I think the whole, to sum up my whole thing on the whole wage thing, is that just, 
I don't think that you should have to. Okay, if you're working hard, let's say capitalism is still a thing. Don't do my, don't do the universal basic income. Don't do socialism and all this stuff. At the end of the day, it should still be, everybody should still have a livable way. Like if I'm working really fucking hard at whatever job, doesn't matter what job it is. It could be a sh- shit job or it could be a fucking big time CEO, whatever. If I'm working hard because man, me working at fucking Buffalo Wild Wings or Jose Peppers or whatever, man, there's still customers that come in. I'm still a needed employee. You yeah. know what I mean? So my work is worth something. But me working 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, whatever, shouldn't I be able to do something with my life that I enjoy? Like if, I, if all I want in life is, hey, I want to be able to, I'll, I'll still work. I'll still work my 40 hours a week, but I want to be able to go out and, uh, you know, like, build my own house, build a cabin and live and have a little bit of land where I can shoot guns and stuff yeah. and go fishing. And I'll still, I'll still do the labor for you, by the way. I'll, I'll succumb to capitalism and still do the 40 hours. Dude, that's still so unimaginable for me right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. fuck Cause I'd yeah. have to take out a massive loan and then be paying that back forever for capitalists to even get close to my dream, which is a very basic fucking dream, by the way. When oh you yeah. Think about it. Like, Considering you live one life and this is like your prime years, yeah, you're not wrong. It's extremely hard. People should be able to just like you have I don't to. Know. You have to go through so many hoops and and shit like that to do any of those types of things. It's, yeah, it's, suicide rates are higher than fucking ever, and they get higher and higher. And people are like, "Oh man, they've skyrocketed because coronavirus and people being quarantined." If you look up the actual shit, they're on the same rate that they have been with fucking like inflation and stuff. They've got nothing to do with. I'm sure there were some. I'm sure. In all fairness, there yeah. were some. But they've got, in general, nothing to do with people being quarantined and stuff. It's because people are literally, like I said, single moms, and not just single moms, everybody. There's there's fucking people in Blake's position, fucking husband working hard, got kids and all this stuff, doing stuff, who eventually mentally can't handle it anymore because it's like every day is a fucking grind. Oh, yeah. And they don't get to do anything they want, and they end up blowing their brains out. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be super crass about the whole thing. but no. like, But that's, what, that's, that's, that's what. a problem, and then you've got fucking... Zuckerberg and uh, Jeff Bezos and all these Jeff Bezos flying off to fucking space and shit. Like, dude, you don't need to go to space, but you know what we do need people to not just be like literally fucking killing themselves and hanging themselves in their closets oh, and stuff they fucking because they can't afford a house. Like they can't afford to feed their kids and oh, yeah. shit. It's well said, man. It's well said. Well, that's, well, that's why I've, I've told Kinder before. It's like, you want to, you know, we want you, people want these things in life, but you want to be home two well it's like do you want the things in life or do you want to be home because you can't have both those are the two options like, i literally yeah. have to go to work and make all the fucking money but i can be home but you're not gonna have shit you know so which one do you want you and know, it should it would be nice though if you could just work like 30 hours a week right that's what i'm saying it's like it would be nice to, to your point to have a living wage is to be able to fucking work your few hours and fucking go home 23 hours is the sweet spot for me yeah, when I think did 40 20, hours become just like a mandate? Like, hey, this is your average work. Well, there was no life. mandate at all. I'm not saying like... Was it the early 30s, 40s, Johnny, I think you said? What? Whenever they introduced the 40-hour work week. Because there I, was nothing before that. Yeah, but like, why? Sorry, Blake, go ahead. Who, 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 where, where, like, why can't it be 23 hours? It's like, hey, this is a good amount of work for somebody to put in for a week. You know, we'll give you, you know, your, your weight, your, your salary or whatever. And we're going to ask you to only work like 25 well, I, that guy I, ta- I talked about earlier that took that cut his the CEO that cut his salary to pay everybody, and part of that article I read is like, he's like, I don't give a fuck what you work as long as you get your work done. He's yeah. like, you, you want to work only a few hours? Cool. I don't give a fuck Just, if your work's done. Who am I? I, I who am I to bitch? I'm gonna get my work done in ten hours. I'm gonna get that's my but that's my point. There's there's people in offices where and some offices have switched over to this, but I've heard interviews of people before who were forced to stay in the office to make their fucking hourly wage to make their money or their salary, or whatever, when really they would have, like, an eight-hour, like, I've got to be here for eight hours. Here's your fucking assignment. Like, hey, I need you to, Bob, I need you to get this done today. They finish it in the first two. And not because they sped through it. Like, they did the work right. right. They deserve yeah. to have that job. They did it well. They finished it in the first job. two hours. Now they're just fucking sitting there watching oh, Netflix okay. for six hours, but they can't be home with their kids because they got to make that money for sitting in a fucking yeah. so question, chair in an office. Question. All this works out. Everything happens exactly how you imagine it, right? Everything we've talked about in this podcast, how you described this better environment. Um, what do you do in, w- with your time, man? What are you? Whatever do? you want. That's the whole point. So it doesn't matter. You could be lazy. You could fuck yeah. off. You could whatever. That's honestly that's kind of the point of. And people always, man, people dig hard into this when you bring up universal basic income and say, guess what? Some people won't have to work, and that's okay. That does like that's okay. If you want to work, cool. You make more money now. 
You can buy the more extravagant stuff. You can have the better sound bar for your TV, and you can you can put the skylight in your fucking ceiling that you wanted. To. You can have the nicer stuff. Yeah. But there can be families out there who just don't have to work and just hang and out can with just each hang other. out yeah. with each other, and that's okay. That's what automation is for. That's why if we design stuff to do stuff that we don't like, man, we used to have to have someone make fucking French fries. Now a machine can do it. That doesn't make that worker obsolete. It means congratulations. You've we've now found a, a better way to where we don't need someone for this, so he can enjoy his time at home. So I need to be a fry worker. No, it, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, like, I'm like, kidding. No, I know that's what the you're thing saying. Is really, you only mm-hmm. man. You probably and this is completely pulled out of my ass. By the way, there is no statistical like, but probably you need like twenty percent of the world actually working. To keep things to keep fucking things running. running. Yeah, and technology. And then fucking the 80% can do whatever they want. But Literally whatever they want. And, and then, then they're like, oh, that's you being lazy, whatever. What about those 20%? Those 20% get paid a lot fucking better than you. So then they're going to be the new Mark Zuckerbergs and fucking billionaires. But the, the difference is they wouldn't be able to make the rules to make every... that That's where the corruption comes in. Yeah. The problem isn't the system. The problem is people, man. Right. Like, nobody gives a shit about anybody else. Where we go at war because, dude, I would be happy. I'm not going to, let's say I'm bartending and I, I make good money bartending, good money bartending, roughly 25 to $35 an hour, okay? If there's someone sitting at home making fucking $25 an hour, good for you. Like, that's awesome. I hope that eventually I get paid more. But I'm not going to shit on you because you're making less. I'm going to get mad at the people paying me and being like, why aren't I getting paid more? And how likely would those people be more to go spend their money and make those companies more money. Yeah. You know, they'd go take, they'd go take their kids to do shit, go to the movies, you know, take them to world of fun. It's, it's, you know, everyone's, you guys seen the movie in time. Yes. Is that with the, with Justin you know, Timberlake and whatnot? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where they, where yeah. they use time yeah. as one yeah. band. As what currency, a, I don't yeah. really like that movie because I don't feel like the acting's very good and stuff. I thought it was, I thought it was yeah. pretty enjoyable. But as far it. as the actual, like the, the plot line and stuff, like yeah. it's so accurate, yeah, man. Time, for, time yeah. is time is money. Like, oh yeah, and they prove at the end, like, yo, look, like you don't have to have people. Because why, got, why yeah. do you got to have people living for thousands of years and people dying at twenty five? Can't everybody just live to be like a hundred? Right. Yeah, spread the fucking wealth. Spread yeah. the time. How much do you think it would cost for everybody to just base salary? Minimum, the federal minimum. Everyone's the for same. 40, like for if 40 everybody was exactly but the if, same. No, I'm saying like if everybody just say, hey, you're going to get, you know, what what it's like 765 the federal minimum wage. Something oh, like no, that. it's went up. It went the, up. Oh, wait, no, you're saying the federal? Yeah. No, federal might still be seven. Yeah, so say, say everybody be, yeah. gets 40 you got hours. 40 hours. I, know, I'm, I just saw it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's like seven something. Everybody gets 40 hours of that if they make under... Yeah, X. no, no, th- that's and what then, universal basic income. Yeah, yeah, no what matter saying. what, you get that. Yeah, but that, I mean, how much, how much would it take to do that? Like, how, what would it take to do, like, how much money would it take to do that? I mean, you could do the, <clears throat> I don't, uh, you can do rough math on that. We have 350 million people in the United States. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, man, I don't feel like doing all that math right it's now. It's like 350 <laughs> million, yeah. 330. But then not all those are working individuals. Some of those are retirees and stuff. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah. You know what I mean? Like so I'd go 200, kids. 200 million. Or yeah, maybe 180. Yeah, you got kids too. I'd go 180 million. I'll do 200 just to make. So 200 million people making that much money? Yeah, so. Oh, I can't do that on my calculator. But then you get into like on. budgeting and shit. You know, I've, I've said it before it's too. Like, it's like. It's like 300 bucks a week a person. Well, though. just like our military. Like we spend the most in our military with the next like five countries combined. Like mm-hmm. there's money getting spent in places maybe it doesn't insane, need to. Dude. That's what I'm, but that's just one small thing. It's like... Cut it in half and divide that. Yeah, cut it in half where the fuck... You can go fucking pay for hella shit with that. Yeah. They said, I think, like, just universal health care. They said with a fraction of the military budget, you could pay for that. Yeah. Some people are like, we don't have money. I'm like, Bull- crazy, bullshit. Though, is just how much insurance can make a difference, too, though. With you, Like, if you're talking about health care, like, going eight, from... Eight. Oh, go ahead. 200 million, if I'm reading this right, it's so hard with all the zeros. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. If to, to pay 200 million people $400 a week, just 400 a week, like I'm not including taxes, all that shit. Just if you were to give $400 cash to 200 million people every week, that'd be 80 billion. 
dropping the bucket. But I mean, that's yeah. eighty billion a week. In all fairness, oh, maybe so not. eighty billion a week times fifty-two weeks in a year. Yeah. So I mean, it's well, what's that? I'm curious now. I don't. You're right. That probably won't show up on my calculator. On. It's four hundred and some odd, like trillion. eighty billion. So eighty times fifty is what? Yeah, four hundred. So four hundred like, billion or whatever. Like five hundred billion dollars. So yeah, we'll just round up. Say five hundred billion dollars a year or whatever. But I mean, you've got what was our fucking last stimulus? Was literally in the trillions, right? Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> so trillions. If you did that, it would be it'd be four trillion a year. Four point one six, or it'd be four point one six trillion a year your to math, give. Your math is wrong, Paul. No, it's not. Fifty-two weeks times times, you said eighty million. Eighty million, yes. That's four point one six trillion. Trillion, or trillion billion million hundred thousand thousand, yeah. Times fifty-two. You might be right, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that, I don't that know, man. I'm stimulus. not a mathematician. That was so the last yeah. stimulus. To your point, yeah, that's the last stimulus. Yeah. But again, I mean, people pay to, I mean, they, I don't know, they print money anyways. All those resources are going to get consumed anyways. We have, we, have, we have smart enough people out there that's not me to figure it out to where, man, universal basic income is a thing that could work yeah. legitimately. And part of that, though, is you're forgetting, too, is that you would take money from the all these big wealthy motherfuckers. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. A lot well. of that money will come from them motherfuckers. So it's not just like... The stimulus I mean, goes all government money. You, your your Mark Zuckerberg's, your your even if you add up all their wealth, your Elon Musk. Once again, if you're Jeff if you're Bezos. out there watching this or listening to this, and you're like, well, that doesn't seem fair to them or whatever, because I'm rich and I make five hundred thousand dollars a year, and I don't want you taking my money. I'm not talking about you. You're yeah. you're not like like you said. Nobody's talking about you. You're, you're closer to me. Yeah, this would help you too. That's what people don't fucking. You get these think they're rich people because they make a couple hundred thousand a year. Oh man, I make three figure salary. I'm I'm fucking wealthy. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Like, like, no, no, yeah, you're really what? not. So did, so did my foreman last year. Yeah, like. He's a fucking electrician. I, so. we, we also, we live the same life. Like, you might have a nicer car, but we both drive to work. I'm not going to space, and neither are you. <laughs> <laughs> like. It's a great way to put it. They're just, yeah, whatever. I think we, we've definitely, we've hit it on the head tonight, man, with this subject for sure. I don't know how much more in depth we can go into it. I know we're a little close to the hour, man. I'm not entirely sure. Carl, can you see on Audacity where we're at? Time wise, it's a minute four. Minute four. No, an, oh, we <laughs> Sorry, have so an hour, hour, hour four, four. hour okay, four. My so, bad. Yeah, we definitely hit it, man. I don't know if you guys have any lasting thoughts, but right now would be the time to do that. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna let my piece. My bad. I feel like I kind of hijacked that a little bit no, with dude, the way you just no, it was a good talk, man. It was yeah, good. Mo- it was a good fucking train. Should just like those more than anything. Thoughts? That's more than anything. That's the shit that pisses me off. So though. those are your last lasting thoughts. I don't know. I mean, six, so 67, 68% of America made a hundred thousand dollars or less in 2020. What's the U S military budget? It's, it's, I want to say it's like the man in the chair. It's over 50%. I think it's <laughs> like 70 billion a year. Is Congress, it? Congress approved 778 billion. Of <laughs> oh God. Wow. Spending. I was way off. December 22nd, 2021, 700 billion a year. Well, it's 780 billion, but a yeah. year. I don't know if that's a year. It just is their budget. Oh, uh, for 2021. That'd be a year. That'd be a year. Sure that'd be a year. They do a budget every year. Do they? It's I think it is. There you have it. I do, do, that's the whole thing. It just like just like the movie in time. Like the money's there, dude. The money. Yeah. The I've money, always said that too, but which no, money's nothing? Guys, but, but the money exists. The late like yeah. It's, and again, that's just that's money that not that's not coming from all the the wealthy CEOs of the world or, or of the United States. Sorry. Yeah. Like I, I wish we could go back to like like just let people do what they want to do you're not going to have people all of a sudden not become fucking doctors because if if anything it should be the other way around where jobs that people really want to do and are good at and enjoy they should be paid well but realistically the jobs people don't want to do like garbage men and stuff should be paid more oh yeah because they're, they're, they're like well. fucking they're, they're needed running. like like electric electrical workers they're paying and, pretty well right now garbage men. i, I know like but i'm saying even be, you know what i mean like i'm saying even even more than better, that. like yeah. the people who are truly essential, like your Making healthcare every workers, work. every day work, every day, even restaurants and shit, and people yeah. who make food, and you know, truck drivers, and yeah. the, the people who truly are essential, dude. Remember, should it, be paid way higher. Remember it, where we live or whatever. There were some issues with our trash company and shit. And there were some weeks oh, yeah. where it didn't get picked up, and my god, that's when you're like, holy fuck, these dudes and women, whoever, this shit, they they matter. 
Yeah. You're, you're right. Like that's the most essential is garbage. You ever seen that? 100%. They, they're on automating that too. Ish. You still got to drive the truck around, but yeah, every, yeah, yeah. Very, motherfucker, very, 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 it oh. just grabs it with some four forks, dumps it in and then dumps it over top of the big one. Yeah. Even that's even getting automated too. We'll leave it there, everyone. Uh, if you like this podcast, please hit the like button, subscribe button, hit the bell notification if you want to hear our latest videos, which come out usually most of the time, unless the Chiefs are in the playoffs, each and every single week, coming at you hot and fresh from the middle of America, baby. Uh, share it to your friends and family. Uh, these are just our opinions, and your f- friends and family might not like that, but they might like that. So in the case that they might like it, share the fucking shit to them so they can decide, not you. Don't be selfish. Damn it, I'm going to have to send this podcast to everyone in my phone tomorrow. I've never done that. I'm just going to do it and see what happens. What do I have to lose? Nothing. But I want to appreciate Blake and Carl. Coming Phone on contacts. Sh- yeah, Blake, <laughs> Blake and Carl coming on the show. I appreciate you guys for that, man. So it's always fun having you here. It's no, a great pre- time. Appreciate you having us. Yeah. Always good to see y'all. I don't get to see y'all very often. Oh, I love coming over here and doing this. I enjoy it as well. Very nice. Who's saying Jesse's line? Yeah. No, I, I'm about to get there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. No, I don't. Um, so yeah, please, like I said, do all those things to all our junkies out there. Stay fly and ring the bell. <laughs> yeah. Is it over now? It's done. Is that really annual?